guys, so I thought I would do a little what I eat in a day today. I haven't filmed in this kitchen in so long. Um, I'm doing some fun things today. So I thought I would take you guys along with me and show you guys what I eat. Um, I had caffeinated tea today for the first time, like in forever, and I feel like mine crawling out of my skin. So let's get into the video. So I'm gonna make avocado toast and tomato. I've been eating a lot of like toast lately, and I've been eating a lot of the Dave's Killer Bread, and it's so good. And usually I've been eating with like Miyoko's butter, but I'm trying not to eat like so much of that butter because I mean, it's a lot of coconut oil. I mean, it has cashews in it, but like it's a lot of coconut oil. So I'm gonna be putting avocado and tomato and salt and pepper. That has been like my favorite go-to breakfast lately. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys my avocado toast. So basic, cause I feel basic today, you know? setup I got the stuff at home goods for like no money and I have my shooting plates and I have some shooting bowls that are in the wash this is the plate I shoot on because it's kind of matte just not as reflective and I'm gonna bring over my avocado toasts and that is what I do and then I'm gonna take some pictures on my iPhone and kind of like make this a little cuter how do I aesthetic this out okay do you like my shirt it says feed me and tell me I'm pretty if that isn't accurate I don't know what is all right we're going to eat this I don't normally eat at this table because I want to keep it like pristine. Do you guys like crystals? I don't know what they do, but I think they're pretty and I like rocks that are sparkly, so I'm into it. Any of you guys know any like details on what I should do with them besides look at them and think how pretty they are? Let me know. But oh, I thought I would take this opportunity <laughs> to take the leaves off my table and answer some questions you guys have sent me. Y'all have been blowing up the DMs. So proud of you. And so I screenshotted some. Are you still oil free? Uh, I just, oh, so here's my deal with oil free. I don't cook with oil, but I also don't go out of my way to not eat oil. Like the other day I was like really like fiending for butter and toast. And I was just like, fuck, I'm gonna go eat some butter. Like, so I went and got Miyoko's and I had butter toast and I was like, great but I'm the kind of person who can like have something and not become like super addicted to it and just be like, hmm, that's enough. I'm like one of those people who can have one cookie and be like, hmm, that's good. Whereas I know a lot of people are not like that. So I don't know, I just, I hate being like categorized into like one certain genre of eating. Like the last couple weeks haven't been the most accurate representation of like how I eat because I was out of town and my brother was graduating from medical school. So we were like celebrating every day. We were eating like all the vegan food because my family is vegan. If you guys don't know that, check out some of my vegan family videos up here. Um, and they're just the best. And they live in a very small town in Texas that doesn't have one vegan restaurant or any vegan options at places they go to eat at. So they just wanted to have like a food veggie adventure. And I was like, yeah, down. Like I'm not going to not have this experience with my family just because I'm oil free. And there were healthier options that I ordered on days that I was like dying of having heartburn. But I mean, you know, you gotta live your life. And I just, I just hate like categorizing myself as like one type of vegan because we're all vegan, it's like the same. Can you shoot a video about being an actor? I would love your advice. Well, <laughs> as soon as I feel like I know what I'm doing, maybe. Um, not really, it's just if 
I shot a video about being an actor now, it would be out of date in two months, I swear. Everything is so different. Like the stuff that I learned in school, going to school for acting and for film is like totally not relevant anymore. When I went to school, people were still mailing in submissions. We don't do that anymore. It changes so much, like what you need, what you don't need, what you do, how do you get parts. It changes so much that like any of these seminars you take are like outdated or any of the advice that I could give you would be outdated in like three seconds. So like, <laughs> I feel like I'm constantly figuring out what to do. Um, I have an agent, she submits me, she knows what she's doing. So I kind of just put my faith in her um, and yeah, and uh, how to get an agent, you just apply. <laughs> you apply to a bunch of agencies. Uh, luckily for me, since I'm ethnic, that's like a, a thing that people are looking for. It's it's a little different story if you are not ethnic. It's like, I don't really know what it's like, so. <laughs> um, and then out of the ones you send out and apply and ask you back, uh, you get to choose which one you like. And you kind of choose that based on like the kind of career you want. That's like the best advice I could give you. All right, so I'm gonna go eat this and then I'm going to be recording something today. It's going to be actually going on my channel, and so maybe I'll take you guys for a sneak peek, but I'm not gonna show you what I'm recording, so it's gonna be very fun. Okay, hi, so I was in the recording studio, and I just didn't, I felt kinda like weird being like, hi guys, I had to like vlog. I didn't wanna be that girl, so I didn't record. We had a lot more work to do than I had thought we did, so uh, I didn't record. But now I'm gonna head home, uh, also, I kind of want to keep what I'm doing like under wraps because it's a really big project I've been working on for a while and we just wrapped mixing the music and so we're going to shoot the video soon. I have to figure out how I'm going to do that. Producing your own content is very hard. So uh, I'm really excited about it. I think you guys will really like it. Uh, I've said I've been excited about it like a million times. So I'm starving. Let's go home. I'm going to eat a huge salad. This is like one of my favorite salads I love to make and it's oil free and so good. I feel like all oil free salads are like sweet. To me salads aren't supposed to be sweet. They're supposed to be savory. So yeah, let's let's go and you should be watching me make the salad next before anything happens. I just saw this billboard for Okja the movie. Have you guys heard of it? I'll insert a little picture of the billboard right here and it's this movie where they like make an animal that's supposed to solve all of the world hunger caused by meat problems. It's supposed to be very, very good. And it was uh, the official selection of the Cannes Film Festival and I heard it got a standing ovation at Cannes and I like am so excited for it to come out and I've been waiting for it to come out and I'm finally seeing like publicity for it and stuff. So I'm getting so excited and it's coming out let me see. It comes out on Netflix June 28th, and I am so excited to see it. We got Jake Gyllenhaal's in it, Lily Collins is in it. It just, it looks so flippin' good. I love horror, and I love like grungy, alternate reality kind of things. I love psychological thrillers, and I love these like um, utopia, utopic like society kind of things and I'm really excited to see it. I just, I think it's so relevant. I've been waiting for someone to make a movie like this, so I'm really excited to see it. Uh, let me know, have you guys seen it? Have you guys seen any previews of it? I think it looks amazing. What about you? Okay, let's go eat salad. So one thing that I like to do for kale is that I like to rinse it with super hot water and you'll see that now it's like a brighter green. Um, your kale will turn from a like frosted kind of green, if you can see here, to a brighter green after you run it through with hot, hot, hot water. That kind of eliminates the need to massage it with oil. Ain't nobody got time to massage their vegetables. So yeah, that's my little trick. Let's make a salad. So I tossed it in a separate container because um, the salad was like huge and I like to really toss it. It tastes way better when it's well tossed and I actually got these as a present. They're all dirty right now. They're my little salad fingers. These are probably some of my favorite kitchen gadgets. If you guys would like a full video, a little 
little snippet video of all my favorite kitchen gadgets. I think that would be really fun because I have a lot of stuff that I really, really like. But yeah, I'm gonna go eat this. My neighbors are sawing stuff in their front yard, so it's very loud. And then we'll see you guys tonight. Wow, the day is already over. Okay, so today I'm having a really late dinner. I'm gonna have some of these capellini. I love capellini, cooks up really fast. And this is a whole wheat capellini. And I'm gonna be having them with these little, ooh, let me show you. I'm gonna be having them with these meatballs. They're vegan, I have never tried them. And then I'm going to have about two cups of chopped spinach mixed in with this. Okay, hi, I didn't wanna end my vlog with just like that end of like pasta in front of you. And um, I know I really like this when other YouTubers do it, so I thought maybe you guys would like it, but I'm going to put a little screen grab of, let me scoot over so you guys can see it. Um, I'm gonna put a little screen grab of the nutrients and how I counted them. And yeah, like just kind of checking myself. This is obviously not perfect, I think, that if you track your nutrients every day, you can kind of get like super crazy. So as you can see, most of my calcium is actually from the cooked spinach, the romaine lettuce, and some of the bread, which always surprised me because I thought like romaine lettuce was not nutrient dense at all, so I never ordered it and I never ate it. But it has like a ton of calcium in it, which blows my mind. And then another thing I like to always check is iron. As you can see, I got 179% of my iron, so I'm doing fine, not anemic. And that was also from the Daily Greens, and that was also from my spinach and my romaine and from the whole wheat capellini I ate. And then what everyone is super concerned with is my protein. I got 142% of my daily protein, and that was, of course, from the chickpeas, and surprisingly, pasta has a good amount of protein in it, especially whole wheat, I think, might have a little bit higher. If you want even more protein in your diet, which, I don't know, if you're very concerned about that, uh, you can always get, like, lentil pasta there's a really good lentil pasta from trader joe's i really love so there's that and then also i got some from those meatless meatballs which i love i don't know i think you know sometimes i just want to like put in some plant-based meat alternatives just because they're comforting and they remind me of like being a kid um they're not something i eat all the time but i have so much fun with them and cooking with them for like you guys is fun because they look cool and they plate well and so i don't know i been trying to have more fun with food because like who cares about being a perfect vegan i don't know i just i think that food should be fun and kind and choosing to live compassionately is so much more important than losing weight so being healthy is like so much more important than eating to look a certain way to me food is fun so i hope you guys like the video and i'll see you guys next time bye what do you eat what about me what about protein what about cheese can you eat fish would you eat that? Are you anemic? What do you eat? What about me? What about protein? What about cheese? Can you eat fish? Do you eat this? Would you eat that? Are you anemic? I got my grub.